It's 3 a.m. in a quiet office. A lone developer pushes a button on their laptop, assigns a task, and closes the lid. In the darkness, Jules, Google's AI coding agent, wakes up on a cloud server. It clones the project's repository, crafts a plan of attack, and starts typing away in a virtual machine. While the developer sleeps, Jules is refactoring code, writing tests, and even spinning up a browser to check that a new UI looks right. By morning, our developer finds a surprise, a neatly prepared pull request with the feature they wanted, complete with passing tests and a summary of what changed. It feels a bit like magic, or maybe like having an invisible colleague who worked the night shift. Quick shout out to the team behind the shoot, Video Deck. They're the folks who wrote, shot, and produced this whole thing. So if your company's trying to explain anything remotely complex or create stunning product demos, hit them up at videodeck.co. Hey, I'm Zach, and you're watching Patch Notes. Meet Jules, Google's asynchronous coding agent. Jules isn't your typical autocomplete. Think of it like a tireless junior developer in the cloud who won't call HR on you for dumping all your coding tasks on them. You don't chat with Jules line by line like you would with GitHub Copilot. Instead, you give it a high-level task. Update our app to use the new API, or write unit tests for the payment module. And Jules goes off to do it in the background. It clones your GitHub repo into a secure Google Cloud VM, understands the full context of your project, and begins coding on a new branch. You're free to do other work, or just get some sleep while Jules works asynchronously. When it's done, Jules will explain what it did, often with reasoning, and present the changes as a pull request so you can review it. Sometimes it even narrates an audio summary of the changes. Google officially launched Jules out of beta on August 6, 2025. During its public preview, thousands of developers tried it out and the feedback shaped what we have today. A cleaner interface, more stable performance, and some very welcoming upgrades. It can now reuse previous setups so it doesn't waste time reinstalling dependencies. It can pick up tasks directly from GitHub issues that you tagged it for. And the biggest upgrade, it's Brain, now powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro, giving it sharper reasoning and better code quality. Google has also clarified privacy. Public repo data might be used to train future models, but private repo code stays private. For a lot of developers, that transparency was huge. Just days after launch, Jules got smarter. Here's how. Web browsing for code. It can now search the web for documentation or examples when it's stuck. Interactive planning. Before writing a line of code, it can ask you clarifying questions to avoid bad assumptions. The critic agent. An internal reviewer that checks Jules' own code for bugs or inefficiencies before showing it to you. Visual verification. If it builds a UI, it can send you a screenshot of what it actually looks like. These changes gave Jules curiosity, collaboration skills, self-critique, and the ability to show its work, all within days of its debut. With launch came usage tiers. The free tier gives you 15 tasks a day and up to three at once. Google AI Pro at $20 a month bumps that up to 100 tasks a day and 15 in parallel. Ultra at $249.99 a month is aimed at enterprise workloads with 300 tasks a day and 60 concurrent. But good news for students, Google's giving you a free year of pro. Pretty smart way to get the next generation hooked. The reactions to Jules have been pretty intense. Some are amazed with stories of Jules building entire apps from long prompts, completing complex migrations, and refactoring huge code bases while the human steps away for coffee. Others are pretty frustrated. Tales of Jules getting stuck for hours on simple tasks, writing overly verbose code, or going on tangents. The consensus is Jules is like a decently fast junior dev. It's brilliant on its good days, but you still need to check its work. So there you have it, a short but sweet rundown of Jules. Tools like this clearly show that a lot of the repetitive side of coding can be automated, but in doing so, it almost changes what being a developer means. Instead of writing every line of code, you now simply have to specify what needs to be built and just review it after. It's not perfect, no AI really is, but it hints at a future where we're less human compilers and more project leads for AI teammates. A step in the right direction? We'll be finding out soon enough. Until next time, I'm Zach, and this is Patch Notes.